Okay, YouTube. Here's what we got here. Okay. We have the Dirt Devil Pro Power Carpet and Hand and Hard Floor. Okay. Now, what this is doing is uh, it's running for a few minutes and shutting off. Sometimes not even a few minutes. It just runs and then shuts off on its own. Now, of course, the first thing you want to check, make sure that everything's clean. Okay, so, so if I can do this one hand in here. Of course, you want to make sure everything's clean. See, it's all clean. It's been clean. We keep it clean regular. Take this out. This may need cleaned a little bit, but that's not enough to, to hurt anything. There's another little pad right there. You want to clean that out, too. Uh, you can just clean them out with soap and water. Okay, that's not enough to clog it. So we know that's good. Now right here on these, there's another filter. And people have been having problems with these. Nobody wants to give them an answer. Check this filter. And as you can see, this filter is pretty clean. Same way. Just some water. You don't need soap on this. Just rinse it out. And you should be good until it comes clean. That's not enough to clog it. Now if you check those, you don't want to check your hose. Pull your hose off there now how do how you get this hose off is right here guys take your attachment off right here if you see this little right here there's one on the other side too what you do is you turn that and there's two tabs see you line them tabs up to put it back on and you turn it Let's see if I can get a closer view here focus see that tab how that goes in there and you turn it that's how you put it back on and that's how you take it off and just pull it down and out now, sometimes if you hold them straight you can see down through there but I blew through it as you can see leaves down there it's, it's perfectly clear if it's clogged you want to be able to blow through so as you can see that's that's clear <clears throat> now another thing check here too now if you look down inside here you can see it's clear right you want to check that but see it's a clear hose so you should be able to see any clogs right now not much light in the garage it's raining outside or I take you outside but and also check your beater bar that's your beater bar make sure there's nothing clogged here uh, you know clean your wheels off it's just maintenance like on anything else now but if you look down in see this is where this hose comes up what it does is suck it up through the black hose and puts it into your canister now if you look right in here right there that is a major clog the whole thing's clogged what that does is make your engine run harder and on these there's a there's a sensor a temperature sensor switch on the motor on these things and what happens was is it will get hot and your motor shuts off so it doesn't burn up or, or your circuit breaker blow or anything like that now see that's a major clog so a lot of people will overlook that now to fix that what we're going to do is there's four screws there's one there one there one there and one there they're just a Phillips head screw so get you a Phillips head screwdriver and take this off. That's what we're going to do, and I'll show you how to remove that. And I'll be right back with you. Okay, here. I forgot to show you something. There's also a screw here, right there. And as you go down, right down through here, there's a screw down here in the back by your back wheel here. See that screw? You take that off try to do this I'll hold this with my the camera with my leg and what I do is I grab the beater bar with your thumbs and grab up on, on top here with your fingers and just pull back with your fingers like this and it should pop out see the dust line now since we've got this off I want to show you something else that as a matter of fact is also how you change your belt your belts right here if you break a belt there's your belt okay now most of the time these will come with a new belt when you buy them new it's weird I know but that's how you would change your belt now I'm gonna go ahead and pull this beater bar out 
Now, you can't screw it up because there's only one way this thing will go. So go ahead and you can pop this out. Pull it right out like that. And these things here on the side, when you go to put it back in, see there's only one way it'll go. See how that's angled different? See how that? It's like a V. It goes right up in there into them notches. Right up in here. Now that's, and that, like I said, is how you change your belt, too. You just pull it off and your, and your belt will come off. But we took it off to show you this. See this clog right here? That is a major clog. That is why Monkey's new uh, Dirt Devil kept uh, shutting off on him. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take something. I'm going to clear that out for her. And... Uh, We'll get, I'll get back with you. And by the way, too, to put this back together, you just reverse the steps. But that's a major clog going up in there. See, I'm pulling this stuff out of there. See, that's, that's a major clog. Now, you can use a little screwdriver. See, I'm actually pushing up in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull this hose off of here. And I will get right back with you as soon as I get that hose off. And I'll show you how to uh, actually clean that out the right way. Because, see, right now, I can't get it. I'm just pushing it farther up in there. And you want to make sure you get it all the way out. See, it's, it's a see-through hose. You can actually, like, shine a flashlight down on top of there and look sometimes. So, I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> I'm looking at my phone right now. Monkey's sending me uh, messages on Messenger. She's so cute. Uh, so, anyway, let me, let me go ahead and take this off of here. This hose off. And uh, I'll get get right back with you and I'll show you how to clean that. Okay, the best way to get this hose off, you can pry it down probably. But that, that little screw there, you take a screw off. And this whole plastic piece here will slide off of here. So I'm going to, well let's see if I can do this one handed here. I don't have tripods anymore. None of that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a screw out. Uh, it's handy to have one of these magnetic screwdrivers too. But if not, that's fine. And then this plastic piece should slide right out of here like that. So, hang on, let me, I'm going to put you down just for a second here. I don't know if you can see anything this way or not. But. Just like that. Don't be alarmed. Just go kind of ginger with it. Now what we can do is I'm going to grab the hose here. And I'm going to twist this back and forth, and that hose should pop off. I don't know if you can see anything. If not, I'm sorry, but here's, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Just like that, it came off. See, that's oops, that's how it just kind of twists and pulled off. Same way putting it back on. If you want to, when you put it back on to make it easier, <laughs> if you get, if your mind's in the gutter, I know, spit on it and. Or whatever use a little bit of Vaseline you don't want to use a lot because if it gets in there that'll help cause a clog that's why I just like to put it on the way it came off and that's dry but anyway uh, do that now this hose here see there's our clog right there like I say you can try to pull it out or whatever and I can get most of it out there we go now also, what you can do, so there's more in there. See, what that does is get in those ridges. Those ridges are right here. And eventually it clogs up because it can't suck it up. See, that's what we took out of there. Dog hair, lint, whatnot. Now, the best, best thing to do, if you can, which I don't have either, is, like, if you have compressed air, gently, you know, blow all this stuff out with, with some kind of compressed air. It doesn't take a lot, but... Now that should be free and clear of any obstructions, okay? And one way you can tell is, like I said, shine light up through there and look down in your hole and you can see it. I wish I could do that for you, but as you can see, maybe down through the top of this thing. See, there's a little bit there, but that, that stuff that you've seen over here on the left, that stuff down in there will suck back up once you turn it on. But like I say, if you can blow it out 
with some kind of compressed air. That's just dirt. So we're just going to shake it a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this off a little bit. And like I said, putting them back together is just backwards of the way you took it off. And what I mean by that is whatever you took off last, put back on first. And that's going to be this thing. So I'm going to get Monkey to wash all these parts off for me. And I'll get right back with you. I'm sure she will do that. Um, I should have made a video of the, the washer, GE washer, that uh, was clanging, banging, and knocking. And it's not very old. It's not even a year old, but I fixed it before, so really not any sense in talking about it now because I didn't video it. But anyway, so I'm off today. I wasn't feeling real good this morning, so, but I think I can do this stuff for her. I need to get done. If you look down in there, like I said, there's a little bit of dust in there, but uh, you blow that out. So you shouldn't have to take that whole hose off. Now, what you can do, if you want, just to take this hose off all you do is pull it out like that it just pulls right out through there and it goes back in the same way and the same way with this when you take it off you just you just twist it and and it it will come off um what i do on this is there's two screws right there and i'll take them off for you now because i'll just go ahead and have her wash this i mean it's best to do it right just remember, keep your screws somewhere where you don't lose them, because they are very important. You know, a lot of people, well, that screw's not necessarily needed. Well, it's there for a reason. I like to put them back if I can. Uh, like, there's a little, see how that's moving when I'm taking that off? There's a little bit of pressure on here, so I like to put them back in. I understand sometimes you lose a screw, you can't find the right one, whatnot. I understand that, but try to maintain all your pieces and parts. See, there you go. And that stuff just came out. I don't know if you see some on my leg down there. But, uh, and just to make sure, if you hold it straight, you should be able to look through there. See light through there? See there's light at the end of the tunnel. So that's that's completely clear. So I'm not going to have her wash that. But I'm going to have her wash the other piece. Just kind of go over it when you got it apart like this. And, uh... And I'll get back with you as soon as I talk her into, and, and your beater bar, just, you know, it doesn't have to be washed with soap and water. Just make sure you get any hairs, uh, sometimes carpet, we don't have carpet in this house, but, you know, sometimes you get carpet wrapped around there, hairs, whatnot. Just kind of clean them off and, uh, and like that, and you should be, you should be okay. Like there's stuff here. You know, just just make sure it, it's clean and check it every soft. Make sure, it's, like a lot of times, your beater bar will stop working, and that'll burn your belt up because this can't turn because like there's a bunch of hair or carpet fibers, you know, uh, uh, with threads or something stuck up in there, and, it, and this can't turn. And what it does is burn your belt up right there, and that spins at your motor. That's the shaft of your motor. That's your output shaft for your motor. And what it does is if your belt don't, can't spin, and it's sitting there like that, and this is spinning, it'll just actually cut itself right through. And that's what happens a lot of times when people put a new belt on and go, damn, my sh it broke that one, and my shit's not working, it's not picking up, why? Well, that's why. So, you know, check your beater bar, just make sure, you know, it spins. There's, it's not necessary, you, you, you should never have to, it should spin like this without any, any kind of lubricant. You should never have to WD. 40 that it should just spin just like that all the time and quiet if it is not quiet and you hear noise or it's moving inside there uh get a new beater bar it's a lot cheaper than you know a 20 dollars beater bar is a lot cheaper than that whole damn thing and so so anyway i'm gonna have her clean that up and then i'm gonna clean some of this up you know clean your wheels off uh, whatnot and you know just kind of Kind of maintain it. Do do this once a month. Check it. Give it a good check. Or whenever you clean your filters, give them a, a good check. Oh, and by the way, these filters, you know, this is just foam. So you know, rinse rinse it out real good. You know, once you clean once you clean everything, rinse it out. You know, squeeze it just like it's like a sponge, and let it dry. Let it air dry. Same way with this. Just you know, wash it cold water, warm water. This same way, uh, or you can blow dry them, whatnot. Uh, I wouldn't recommend putting these in the dryer. 
I'm not sure about that. Maybe you can. I don't know. I don't. I just let them air dry. It only takes a few minutes. They're dry. Put it together. Maybe let it dry a little longer before you turn on, and that should take care of your problem. So I'll be back with you in a minute, and uh, I'll go back over on how to put this stuff back together for you, just in case you forget. So I'll be back with you. Okay, YouTube. We're back. I'm going to show you how to quickly put this back together. As you can see, this is where this came out of. So you want to get it back up in there like that. I went ahead and washed everything out. Now, if you look here, there's these two things. Don't break them off. That's where the screws go down in at. Okay, so just stick that in there like that, and it'll stay for a second. And then take your two screws, and you put your two screws back in. We'll have one there, one right beside it. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing back together. Like I said, it's just a reverse process of how you took it back, how you took it apart. But that's how you get that in, and you'll put your hose back on, you'll flip it around, and everything like that. So, all right, I'm going to get back with you here in a minute, and we'll turn it on and see if it works good. Something I need to show you. Back, we're going to try this out. I got a piece of paper here, and what we're going to do so we're going to turn this on real quick and I'll, I'll videotape it for you what it should do so hang on a second If you ever hear that noise is when you turn it on like that, that's why your engine's going to be, your motor's going to be shutting off to get too hot. That means you have a clog. This is the way it should sound. That's the way it shouldn't sound. 